let's talk about if there's any possibility of us doing a rematch. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where you join me in a location which is pretty random actually. You join me in Croatia. I'm currently stood on a runway. I'm here, TG's here and we're just about getting on sort of like a private plane and we are heading to an island. Yesterday we had the opportunity to go around the Rimac factory and if you don't know I raced the Rimac against the LaFerrari. Last night we got a chance to see that car again and I was kind of like reunited with it and that was really cool. But today we are heading to an island off Croatia and we don't even know what this island's called. This is the plane which we're going in today. Um, yeah, okay. How are we? Yeah. At this point you're nervous. You saw my face on the bus when we saw this plane. <laughs> you saw it. You're nervous now. Let's jump on this plane uh, from where we are and head to this secret island where we're going to be riding some pretty insane bikes. It sounds, sounds mad, but let's go. Mate, we're right by the wheel. I'm not sure how safe this is. Is this safe? Is it? Oh God. Oh, the wheel's gone. We've lost the wheel. We've lost the wheel, Tom. The wheel's gone. <laughs> So we are going to be taking some electric bikes out into the incredible scenery where we are off at the bowl, I think the island we are at. Any creations watching, I do apologize. Oh, to be precise, they are roughly like 7,000 pounds electric bikes. And these are engineered by Rimac. And I went on ones kind of similar a couple of years ago. And why am I being directed? I know where I'm going, I'm not getting the wrong way. Um, and these are engineered by Rimac, so they're very, very cool. And you're gonna see a lot more of these, basically. We are gonna go on some of the best routes here where we are in Croatia. And here we go. Here are the bikes which we are picking up today are you ready Tom yeah this is gonna be fun isn't it we are just doing some admin um, so we are gonna film a lot more of these when we actually get sort of a little bit more into sort of the mountains um, because we just need to get organized we've got to drop our bags off we have to share sort of baggage so Tom make sure yeah okay make sure there's nothing that there shouldn't be in there mate as always never how, how are they I'm carrying all your stuff everything's fine I know I look like an absolute you know, end. Uh, so it's basically an assisted bike. Um, so it's got an electric motor in it. It's got five different sort of settings of how to sort of go faster, etc. And you do all that on the dash. Did I say that right? Just sorting out my bike. Casual. Did you know I've already I've made a video on the Rimac LaFerrari? Yeah, so it made four million other people see this one. Yeah. So we've just been driving around, riding around. Yeah. And everything's going well. Until he gets a puncture. Great. I blame you. No, you're just going too fast, mate. No, it's not fast enough. So is it fully flat or is it? Come yeah, on, let's yeah, go on. Show us. Halfway from the first stop. You okay? Go on, then. <laughs> there we go. Okay. I've just been riding these bikes for the best part of how long? About an hour, roughly, um, here in Croatia. And we've just been going along sort of off road parts and all sorts. And we've been having the best time ever. These obviously are assisted bikes. Up the, the bike just here. And it is a it is a wicked bit of kit, uh, the great bike. Um, I've actually got the slightly slower one, but um, Tom's got the better one. But yeah, like I say, you just all on here, up down, up down. Uh, my this is not my phone, so this is not my phone connected. Uh, but you, you can connect your own phone in there, um, and then you basically can choose which levels you want and all sorts. And yeah, they did the best part, 45 kilometers. Now, if we look out here, we can see the view of where we are. Look at this. Look at the view here in Croatia, which is absolutely stunning isn't it I mean that is one of the best views I've ever seen ever um, the guys down there are getting a couple of drinks but on these you don't want to slip because uh, down there is another mountain cliff but look at that is that not just absolutely insane I never even knew Croatia was this beautiful on this island which we're at it's, it's totally mad these bikes are really really cool and I at the moment I don't know if you can see here but I have it on like level three I just put this up and it will help me get up this hill a lot better. Let's not forget the view. But yeah, so then now I'm pedaling, but as I'm pedaling, I'm getting assistance as well up this hill, which is just helping me. But this is still hard. You can see all the 
this is an entry in front of me as well. We need to go down a gear. And I can get up this really, really steep hill with no problem at all, all on this bike, just by the assist mode. And the assist mode is on full. You've got your front camera, so you can see there's a live camera coming there. This is not my personal phone. I use my Huawei. But then this, I'm cycling normally, right? But I can still get up the steepest of hills because I've assisted. So it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, come on. Ah! Um, hello, everyone. Anyway, let's keep cycling, trying not to crash. I, I somehow have lost everyone and I'm on my own in the middle of nowhere. Still, still going. And what we're doing is we're just basically cycling back. Yeah, that's Arch Hamilton. We just basically had this whole road closed off so we could ride these bikes. Come from all the way d uh, down there. Yep. Come all the way down there, yep. Ah! Oh my God, that was shocking. And then we're going down there, down there, down there. This is what your viewers want to see. Ah! They don't, oh, a shunt, that's what they would have wanted to see. Could you imagine, Ollie, no, Ollie, go away. Ollie, uh, uh, that is the most stupid thing you've ever done. <laughs> Imagine if we had a closed off road and supercars around this road. Oh my god. Let's come yeah. here. It's like the Razel Cambra of Croatia. Yeah, that is a good road, isn't it? Um, oh my god. I, that flat tire was scary. I was like, it's a bit hairy under brakes. Have you got and a flat tire? went straight on. Have you got a flat tire? Yeah, he's just giving me his bike. Oh, right, fair enough. Uh, if you don't know, me and I, we were teammates back in the day. We were indeed. Yeah. LMP2, WEC. That's the one. Are you racing at the moment? What's going on? LMP1 still. Spa's yeah. the next one. Four weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Oh, eight weeks till Spa. Eight weeks till Spa. And then Le Mans. Then Le Mans. Ah. Boom. And then uh, this is not how I usually look, by the way. No, it doesn't look like that. I just saw someone called TG where I'm at. I thought it was in style. So. Mm. YouTube in it. Uh, but what we are going to do is Mate, Mate, Rimac. We just cycled past each other, and we were just talking about when I did the Rimac Concept One versus the LaFerrari. You remember that video? Very quick. Fantastic video. Going to do is we're going to talk about a potential rematch and what we can potentially do on that side. And I'm bikes gonna, downhill. I'm going to have a little chat on what could challenge the new Rimac C2. That'll be a big one. Yeah, that'll be a few. That's going to destroy everything. Uh, we had a few ideas. There, there, but no supercar will beat it. No supercar. Nothing. No. So we have now arrived at the hotel. Well, the hotel is uh, up there somewhere. I think it's over there. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Mate Rimac. The moment I can I get hold of him, we've actually been cycling together. The moment I can get hold of him, I'll be talking to him all things a rematch with the Rimac and potentially a Bugatti Chiron to be precise. Basically what we did is we put uh, the Rimac up against the LaFerrari and it destroyed the LaFerrari. If you haven't seen that already, here are a few highlights. Okay, so on the start line, who's gonna win? Oh, this is tight! Oh, this is tight! Come on! Come on! Come on, Berg again! Spartan again! Oh! Breathe after that. They have gone and made the Rimac C2, which is even quicker than that car. And that is due, the first sort of test drives are going to be in the summer. Well, hopefully they're going to get the car going for the summer, which will be insane. And then, potentially, we can do a rematch on a drag strip. So, what car could race against it and, and beat it? It's a tough one. It really, really is a tough one. And we're going to talk all things about that. I'm literally on the sea. It's unbelievable. I'm basically standing on the sea, everybody. Um, this water is so clear as well. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Um, but yeah absolutely mad and our hotel is just in here so we have a sea view we've got a barbecue going on over here and it's all kicking off so the moment i can hopefully we'll do this interview as soon as we can okay so i'm now joined the next morning after an incredible experience but let me welcome back mr mate rimac hey how are we sir this guy is a legend and we're going to talk a little bit i wanted to get you on camera because it's been a couple of years since you guys would have seen we did a drag race with the rimac concept one versus the LaFerrari and Tesla and Tesla so it all yeah I forgot about the time the Tesla's in there as well and some church bells are ringing so ignore them um but it was obviously a, it was an awesome race and this was kind of a bit of history wasn't it because like the Rimac destroyed the <laughs> LaFerrari let's be honest yes. it wasn't even a close race but the company's blown up and you now employ what 500 people 500. and 150. and how's how's this all What's been going on? <laughs> well, where to start? You know, they say every time a company doubles, you have to change everything. And yeah. we do that pretty much every year. Yeah. So it's a constant catch up with 
you know, um, we, we know very well where we want to get. Yeah. So we have our two businesses. If yeah. you talk about Rimac Automobili, not great. Yeah. So Rimac has uh, on one side the high, uh, the supercar business. Yeah. So where you want to be the best in making uh, high performance electric supercars or hypercars, how yeah. you want to call them, and really show what we can do and what electric cars can do and like be top in every regard. Like, and not making super extreme cars like the Aston Martin Valkyrie, but more like really high performance but still usable with um, you know s space and comfort and so on. Yeah. And on the other side, using those technologies that we developed for our own cars and uh, selling them uh, to other car companies and helping those car companies make hybrid and electric cars. And that's what we do for Porsche, Aston Martin, Renault, Koenigsegg and many others. And since we last met, uh, one of the big things was that Porsche also invested in the company. We have presented the C2 in Geneva and we are now working on uh, the testing and homologation and bringing the car to the road. So, uh, you know, that's a big transition. Also, so from the eight concept ones to 150 C2s yeah. uh, to produce like, you know, a car pretty much every week. That's a big step. Is that your us. aim? Yeah. Yeah. And wow. to globally homologate it, that's a huge step. Um, and then on the other side, even much bigger challenge is to go from low volume production, like for hundreds of units like the Valkyrie or, or Koenigse Regera, to thousands and tens of thousands that we are currently doing for many of the big car companies. So from a niche player to become real, uh, you know, supplier to the car industry. And that's something very, very few companies have managed to do in the last decades. So yeah, that's, that's incredible. Obviously great for which the bikes we're going on today. This is um, your founder of this as well. The bikes, they are obviously incredible, the technology in them. So bicycle companies for a hundred years, they make frames, yeah. put parts on it, and that's it. Yeah. And that's how they make electric bikes as well. They buy motors and batteries from Bosch mostly or somebody else like that. Yeah. They plug them in, put them together on the frame, and that's that, you know. You don't have any, like they have quite primitive user experiences uh, yeah. in terms of the user interface and so on. So, uh, and the biking industry is very regulated by the law. So in Europe, uh, you don't have to have a license plate on the bike as long as it's less than 25 kilometers per hour top speed for assistance and less than 250 watts. So you cannot really compete with speed and performance. So the bike we did before yes. was crazy fast yeah. and crazy yeah, powerful, yeah, yeah. but it's not really like... It's it, more like a moped. It's more, yeah. <laughs> uh, even even, more even quicker. It was 100 kilometers an hour, yeah. the first one. So this has got more like, um, it's got assistance. So yeah. t tell us a brief, because obviously we've been on the bikes, the, the best points of the bike and what it's got inside it. So with the classical things like, uh, you know, suspension and stuff like that, it's right there where everybody else is maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit worse in some things, but it's yeah. like there on par with them. But what's really special about it is all the sensors and the connectivity and the use case you can do with it, the game gamification, like yeah. where you can compete in real time. Like let's say you have a bike in Britain and I have one in Croatia and we as friends, we can compete compete uh, in real time against each other, seeing what the other is doing because the bike, your bike and my bike both have cameras and internet connectivity. So you, I can see on my screen what you are doing and your heart rate and how much you are pedaling, how much power you are putting into the bike through your feet because we have a sensor in the pedals. and. So so we can say, you know, who is more active or who is lazier, who is more um, taking the energy from the battery, not uh, from yeah. his own legs. And, yeah. you know, we can compete on different things, like who, who has the longest flight time and stuff like that. And you can do that on an individual basis or against everybody, yeah. on a weekly basis, on a month, you know, you can create challenges and stuff like that. And we have just scratched the surface with this, so the bike has a bunch of sensors and all the hardware and the infrastructure in the bike to become better over time. So we have just a few functionalities now, but all the owners will get free updates all the time with new ideas, new features. It's insane. And it's got, so it's got um, GPS in it. You can, if someone steals your bike, you can just kill the bike. You can yeah. take a picture of who's just stolen your bike. Yeah. You can, <clears throat> and it's got five different assistance levels, things like that. And it basically is, yeah, it's the modern day bike. Right, that is insane. Let's talk about if there's any possibility of us doing a rematch. Because obviously we did uh, the Rimac versus the LaFerrari versus the Tesla. You've got the co the C2. I'm going to get in trouble by Marta behind the camera if I call it a concept. C2, C2. which is obviously a new hypercar. Which Even is more powerful. Naught to 60 and I believe 1.85. Yeah, So with one foot rollout. Ridiculous. Um, so that is obviously the whole new hypercar which is coming soon. 
so we would have to put something up against that. What would beat that car? On a straight line? Yeah, anything? Well, I think the concept one, we put it against pretty much everything that's fast on a straight line. It was faster than everything, so... Veyron you did, you did yeah. LaFerrari, you did... Tesla. Tesla. Um, what else? We didn't do a... No, we did 918. The car was 918, faster. faster. 918. We didn't do the McLaren P1, but I guess the 918 is faster, so... The Concept 1 is already the fastest on the straight line. Uh, the C2 is much, much faster than the Concept 1, so... Which is hard for my brain to function, because <laughs> all I remember when I was in that LaFerrari was... Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So, the C2... What could we put that up against? Maybe a Chiron or, or a Regera? I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I, but I don't think the Chiron really, on the straight line, stands a chance. We'll see on the track. That's a big challenge for us. Like, the, the thing is, electric cars can really give, give great short-term performance. You can see that with the Tesla, but the Tesla overheats like after two launches or yep. three launches. Uh, that's something that we have been uh, like. That was one of the requirements of the car from day one. Yeah. So we did so much uh, for the cooling systems and the layout of the whole car and the aerodynamics to get the air in the right places to um, get the performance on the long term. So we really want to make a car that is uh, not just for the straight line, but you can actually do laps on the track. On the track, yeah. Exactly. Without derating, with, with the power being there all the time. Yeah. Uh, of course, obviously, there's a limit in terms of how many, how much energy you have in the battery. Yes. But uh, let's say on a straight line, I don't think. Oh, well, obviously the Tesla Roadster. Depending on what Elon will do with uh, with Tesla. rockets. Uh, do you think that could be it as well? Yeah, that will be. I think the hardest not to crack. So we'll see. But I mean, uh, Elon. That's said, when things get competitive, right? In this little market. Yeah, Elon said. Well, it's hard to compete against Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> That's... But it, that would be interesting. Maybe Tesla Roadster versus Chiron versus. Yeah, this is C2. Versus C2. Uh, well, he said he will do something with rockets, with actual uh, rockets from SpaceX. So let's see about that. Uh, so that could be something serious uh, in terms of competition. So when will we see? Well, potentially it's happening. And secondly, when will we see the C2 hit the hit the first ro test drives? When will it will be happening? Yes. Yeah, so the car will be delivered to customers in 2020. We yep. can do test rides before that. The question is, at which time I'm happy to <laughs> hand it out. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm not there yet. All right, she come over. I don't, I, I'm not ready yet. Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah, we'll see. Let, let's say, let's try it for, I don't know, may, maybe end of this year. But I don't know. Yeah. Let, let's see what I want. I want the car to be polished before the first cars, before the first people outside the company really have a go. So because you need to win. There's no. They, yeah. You knew. No second chance. You knew with that Lafro before I turned up. You were going to win that yeah, one. Of course. And I, <laughs> and I was there being like, oh, this has got no chance. And then uh, I was the one that looked the idiot. So let's. Get on and organise that. But thank you very much, Grape. It's been an amazing trip. Thank you so much. And uh, obviously, I'll leave all your details, and everything down below. And uh, congratulations! It. Congratulations for building what is an inspirational empire. Thanks, Thanks very much, mate. Thanks. Thanks. Very much. There we go. It is time to now round this video off. What an amazing time it has been here in Croatia. A little bit more cloudy today than it was yesterday, but what an awesome time that I've had. The bikes, everything else, but the scenery, the scenery, I keep banging on about it the whole video, but it has been absolutely epic. And the bikes were very, very impressive as well. Uphill, downhill, my legs are destroyed. I woke up, I was like, oh, I can't really walk, but they're very impressive um, and everything about them. So I'll leave all those details down below also but Mate Rimac mega to have a proper chat with him and to discuss a potential rematch between a Rimac but not only that putting it up against some other cars as well obviously we've done the LaFerrari it's raced to Veyron it's raced to 918 the C2 when that is released we are going to be doing another drag race and this could be against a Bugatti Chiron Tesla Roadster, you name it, and we're going to get planning. That's the plan. Uh, so we're, I'm going to be on the phones with him regularly. Be like, is it ready? Is it ready? Is it ready? Because we need to do another one, and we need to see just how quick this car is. Unless I just get sprayed by a load of water. Um, it is. It's going to be rapid. It's going to be absolutely rapid. Not to 60 in 1.85 seconds. What can beat that? Well. We're going to find out and we're going to see when it all unravels because that is one epic bit of kit and the technology and what that man has built it's, it's inspiring it really is 31 years old employs over 550 people there's going to be sort of like 1500 people employed there in the next sort of soon to come and yeah massive absolutely massive if you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i'm off to go get three flights today to get back to london so Let's go do that, and I'll see you all very soon.